Counterattack. Ukrainian artillery rained down on Russian invaders in the eastern Kharkiv region. Pictures from the front lines have shown Ukrainian artillerymen raining fire down on Vladimir Putin's invaders as Kiev's troops continue their counteroffensive. The Ukrainian military said it had pushed Russian forces out of pockets of territory along the front lines in the east and south of the country, building on the grueling counteroffensive launched two months ago. The gains announced by Ukraine's deputy defense minister came as Russia claimed its forces had progressed in the eastern Kharkiv region, undermining Kiev's highly anticipated campaign. However, reports have also suggested Ukraine has completed operations across a southern point on the Dnipro River, a key objective for Kiev. Ukraine kicked off its counteroffensive against Russian forces in June after building up assault battalions and stockpiling Western donated weapons. But progress has been hampered by widespread Russian laid minefields and strong fortifications. Deputy Defense Minister Hannah Malier said, with Kiev saying it had only gained a clutch of land around the war-battered city of Bakhmut last week. <music> Nevertheless, the Ukrainian military had pushed forward around the village of Staromyorsky, around 60 miles southwest of Russian-held Donetsk, and was pressing on two fronts in the south, Malier said. She said troops were fighting for control of the neighboring settlement of Eurojane. A Moscow-installed official in an occupied part of Ukraine's Zaporizhia region said on Sunday that Kiev was attempting to pierce Russian lines by gaining a foothold in both villages, which stand in the path of Ukraine's goal of reaching the Sea of Azov. Hostilities are taking place in the vicinity of Eurojane, and the fight is for this particular locality, Malier said in a statement to an official military platform. There is some success on the southern and southeast axes in the vicinity of Staromyorsky. Malier also said Kiev's army had conducted certain tasks on the left bank or eastern bank of the Dnipro River in the Kherson region. The river was rendered the de facto front line between Ukrainian and Russian forces in the region after Kiev recaptured the territory's main city, also called Kherson, in November. <laughs> In its latest intelligence update, the British Defense Ministry noted an uptick in small-scale combat along the lower Dnipro River, where it said Ukrainian forces were attempting to conduct raids and set up new bridgeheads, crossing the portion of the Dnipro River, which was flooded when the Kakovka Dam was destroyed in June likely by Russian forces is seen as a key objective towards Ukraine's ultimate goal of pushing Russia out of its territory, including Crimea. Ukrainian forces have made incremental gains since kicking off their long-awaited operation in June, but officials in Kiev have acknowledged that progress has been slower than they would have liked and hampered by rigid Russian defenses. In Monday's statement, Malier described the nature of that challenge. The armed forces are facing complete mining of the territory, cement fortifications of the Kihites, and constant mortar and artillery shelling, she said. 
Additionally, the Russians are densely using aviation. Mailier added that the Ukrainian military managed to retake nearly two square miles during the past week around the ruined eastern city of Bakhmut, where Russian and Ukrainian forces fought the bloodiest battle of the nearly 18-month war. She also said Russian troops were continuing their assault around the eastern towns of Kapyansk and Lyman, where she said they were regrouping. The Russians have intensified these offensives after success of the Ukrainian army on Bakhmut Axis, Malier said. Russia still controls around a fifth of Ukraine, including the Black Sea Peninsula of Crimea, Luhansk region in the east, and swags of the regions of Donetsk, Saporizhia and Kherson. The occupied territory includes most of Ukraine's coastline and parts of its industrial heartland, the Donbass. Ukraine has urged its Western allies to ramp up arms deliveries, including long-range missiles and F-16 fighter jets to speed up its offensive. That was the message Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said he took to his meeting with Germany's Finance Minister Christian Lindner who arrived in Kiev on Monday. Thank you.